Hey, um, so one way to calculate the area of a triangle, um, probably the way that you're most familiar with, is to um, call one side its base and then figure out what the height would be, uh, which would be the distance from the base to the vertex opposite the base, um, the shortest distance, so that forms a, a right angle. Um, so one half base times height. And uh, if you've got a right triangle, that's super easy to calculate. If you've got an isosceles triangle, that's pretty easy to calculate. And um, if you've got an obtuse triangle, that's really difficult to calculate. And I'll show you another way that's um, w where you can do it pretty easily. Okay, so um, so this should give you the tools to solve the area of of any triangle that you come across. Um, so hopefully this will be helpful to you. So uh, let's start with a right triangle. We'll get progressively more difficult. So a really convenient thing about right triangles is they have that 90 degree angle. So, um, so ignore the hypotenuse for a second. You can call one of the other sides the base, and that automatically means that the other would be the height. Um, because again, the height of a triangle is, um, you know, there's three heights of a triangle, and a height is, is simply, um, all right, you take one of the sides find the vertex or corner of the triangle that's opposite it um, and then so then the shortest distance from that side to that vertex is the height and the shortest distance will form a um, right angle right? Uh, so with so with the right triangle that shortest distance is just that other side um, okay so one half base times height so for this triangle one half let's call that the base Let's call that the height, therefore. Uh, one half six times three. Uh, one half six is three. Three times, or sorry, one half six times eight. Um, one half six is three. Three times eight is twenty-four. So the area of that triangle will be twenty-four, um, you know, units squared. Right. So pretty easy. Just pick, pick the the two sides that aren't the hypotenuse. Multiply them. Cut them in half. And you can see actually. This this makes a rectangle, anyway. Um, okay, so that's easy. So for right triangles, um, very straightforward. Now, if you have an isosceles triangle, meaning one where two sides are equal, but there's no 90 degree angles in here. Um, still fairly easy to calculate, but you have to do a little bit of work ahead of time, and that is this. Um, um, so call the ba the side that's not one of the equal sides, one of the congruent sides, the base. Okay. Well, you don't have a height yet. The height would be, um, let me grab my straight line tool. This would be the height. Uh, the distance from this side to the opposite vertex, the shortest distance, so that this causes a right um, angle. Okay? So you don't know what the height is yet, but you can calculate that. All right? Because you've just formed two right triangles um, out of this one isosceles triangle. So let's just uh, look at this triangle here. Um, so the hypotenuse is 7. The base is just half of 5. You cut it exactly in half. So uh, that right there is 2.5. Sorry, what happened to my colors? Um, 2.5 and then this is the height. You don't know. So by the Pythagorean theorem, 2 point, can you see that? I don't think so. I can't see that. So I doubt you can see that. 2.5 squared. So the Pythagorean theorem. So we're just focusing on this triangle here, and then we'll, we'll double it. Um, 2.5 squared plus the height squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, 7 squared. Uh, so 2.5 squared, what is that? It's something 6.25, 6.25 plus the height squared is equal to 7 squared, which is 49. Uh, we'll subtract 6.25 from both sides. And I'm just going to um, 49 minus 6.25. 
is equal to, and all we have left here is the height squared. Um, so now to get the height, we just square root both sides. So the height is equal to the square root of 42.75. Um, so square root 42.75, which is about 6.5. 6.5. Um, I said we were going to find that the area of this triangle and then double it. We don't. That's an extra step. Sorry. So we we have the height of. So we have this side length of that little triangle is about 6.5. Well, that's the height of the the overall big triangle. So now we can just do one half base five times height, which we just found 6.5 roughly. Um, so so one half, so I'm gonna call that point five times five times six point five sixteen point two five. So about sixteen point two five units squared. For this one. Okay, now with a crazy triangle like this, um, you know, you can't split it into two equal or two congruent right triangles. You can't do this little trick. Um you know, it's really would be difficult to determine, you know, if you call one side of the base what what the height would be given just this information. However, there's a sweet little thing called Heron's formula, which is this, uh, which you can use um, to calculate the area of a triangle using just the three side lengths. Um, and I'm gonna need more room, so let me move some stuff. some more stuff. Okay. Is that enough stuff? All right, I'm sure this is fascinating watching me. Okay. So, Heron's formula says the area of a triangle is the square root of the semi-perimeter, which is half the perimeter, um, s times s minus a, you know, one of the side lengths times s minus b, one of the other side lengths, times s minus c, one of the other side lengths. And the semi-perimeter is one half a plus b plus c, right? So the perimeter is you know a plus b plus c. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call a, what you call b, what you call c, just you know one side, the other side, and the other side. Uh, and then um, cut that in half, and that's the semi-perimeter. Uh, semi, semi meaning half. So let's find, let's find s first. So s would be... 9 plus 13 plus 8. So 9 plus 13 would be 22, plus 8 would be 30. And then um, half of that uh, would be 15. So S is 15. So the area of this triangle is equal to the square root of Wow, sorry about that. Square root of S um, times S minus A. So let's, I don't know, let's call that A. So 15 minus 9. Um, S minus B, 15 minus, um, let's call that B, 13. And then the other side, 15 minus 8. Alright, let's see what we can do to simplify this. So 15 minus 9 would be 6. 15 minus 13 would be 12. 15 minus 8 would be 7. Um, so we've got, on the beneath the radical, we've got 15 times 6 times 12. Sorry, 2. 15 minus 13 is 2. Sorry. 2. Uh, times 15 minus 8, which is 7. Um, so let's let's just do all that. So 15 times 6 times 2. Uh, what was it times 7? Is uh, 1260. And then we need to square root that. Um, square root that. 1260 is about 35.5.
35.5 units squared. So not too bad. Uh, it's you know some calculation, but it's not too bad. So um, so if you've got a right triangle, the base and height are very easy to determine. They're the two sides that aren't the hypotenuse. So you do one half times the one side times the other. If you've got an isosceles triangle, uh, one with two congruent sides, you can just cut it in half, um, and that side that the two triangles uh, share is the height, um, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the height would be, and then you can calculate one half base times height. And then if if you don't have that option, you can use Heron's formula, which says first find the semi-perimeter of the triangle, the perimeter, the distance all the way around, cut it in half. Then the area is the square root of that semi-perimeter times um, uh, s minus one side length times s minus another side length times s minus another side length. Boom, square root it all. You're done. All right, that should uh, allow you to handle most situations that you find, um, or a lot of them in any case. So good luck and have fun with triangles.